Hey, this is warning video number three. <laughs> it's really funny to watch myself after I make a video because I didn't realize how fast I talk. Anyways, sorry for anyone watching this video that has a hard time keeping up with how fast I talk. Um, let's see. Oh, another point I wanted to make about the rapture. <laughs> Most people in the church think that the rapture will happen before the tribulation, which I think is why um, Jesus talks about the great falling away at the end. And I think that's one of the things that will cause this falling away is that the majority of Christians will think, well, a rapture is supposed to happen. And then when it doesn't happen, which I don't think it will, they'll get mad and they'll be like, well, there must not be a God if he's letting us go through all this stuff. My argument against the rapture is when people say, well, if God loved us, he would save us from the tribulation. No, <laughs> I'm sorry, but he doesn't spare us from a lot of stuff. I mean, I went through stuff that I've written about in my blog when I was a kid with my dad. My last husband I had died. You know, I mean, he we, he lets us go through stuff too. So I don't think that there will be this rapture to spare us from harm. And if you really read Revelations, it talks about this calls for patient endurance on behalf of the saints, meaning we'll have to be patient. It talks about to those who overcome, I will give the crown of life, meaning we'll have to overcome. So I think we're going to see some crazy stuff. I think the next step is famine and persecution of the Christians. This video on YouTube talks about concentration camps. I think we will have another Holocaust, really, of Christians, but in America or worldwide. And <laughs> I hate to say this in this video, but I think Obama might be leading. He might lead it. So anyways, I know that sounds crazy and like conspiracy theory, but I just want to throw it out there. Um, more about the rapture. People usually give the argument of a verse in Thessalonians, what is restraining, it, the, says something, the one who is restraining it will be taken out of the way, and they say that's the church because the Holy Spirit is in us. But I don't think so. I think that doesn't mean the church, that just means the Holy Spirit is holding back the Antichrist, and he'll be taken out of the way. That doesn't have to mean the church. That's just people making it say what they want it to say, honestly. Um, and realistically, there will be a type of rapture. It's at the last trumpet, though, I believe. In Corinthians, Paul talks about, um, we shall not stay the same. We shall all be changed in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. The last trumpet is two-thirds of the way Revelation, through Revelations, which I do believe is chronological. The first six, first there's seven seals. We'll see that. I think we're on, like, the third or fourth seal now, and the next is a persecution of the saints which I think will be like a holocaust in America of Christians. Then there's the seven trumpets. So we're going to see some crazy stuff. Christians will before we're taken. And then at the last trumpet, that's when that song, the Hallelujah Chorus, comes from. And the kingdoms of this world has be, have become the kingdoms of the Lord and of his Christ. Right? That's from at the last trumpet. That's when I think we'll be up in heaven. Then there's the seven bowls of God's wrath, which I think we will be spared from that. Um, so something to think about, just, if, just read Revelations, <laughs> if you're saved, or even if you're not, check it out, read Revelations, read the Bible, and before you do, just pray that God would give you eyes to see and ears to hear what he wants you to. That's what I always do before I read scripture, is just, God, what do you want me to see in this, you know? I mean, there's so many different interpretations, but there is a correct one. So... And God gives us eyes. Paul says, I pray that the eye, I pray that the spiritual eyes of your heart may be enlightened so you'll know, blah, blah. So um, just pray that God would give you eyes to see, you know. And Jesus talks about having ears to hear and eyes to see a lot. So anyways, I thought I'd start making videos. I've been writing blogs a lot, but I thought maybe videos would be more effective. Even though I talk really fast, sorry <laughs> if it's hard to follow. Um, but... I've seen some YouTube videos that I just it might be more convincing. I don't know. I just feel like God's telling me to do this. So I hope you benefit from this. I hope it makes you think. I hope it makes you read your Bibles more and look into this prophecy stuff. And um, I just think it's getting close. You know, I think it could be within the next six months that something major happens and that something that sets off the tribulation. So stuff to think about. God bless.